right, everybody. I just got back from watching um, the Iron Claw, the tragic story of the Von Erich family. Um, right off the bat, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. this is a standalone movie. And what I mean by that is you don't necessarily need to know who the Von Erichs are or the or, you know, the backstory. But I will say it does help. Um, and that's just a testament of how good this movie is. Um, I think they really did a bang up job in this movie now i'm gonna try to go about this in about two parts and i'm not saying two different videos right what i'm saying is i'm gonna break this down at the very beginning part of this video i'm gonna talk about things i particularly like that are not um about the story i guess so to speak but then in the second part so that way um you know that there might be spoilers i'm gonna talk about the specifics and the reason why i want to do that is because this movie deserves to be watched in the theaters it is it's it's tragic it's sad um it's it's everything that we kind of been missing in theaters and a24 just you know knocked it out of the park with this one um so with that being said let's get into it here we go guys Whew. okay the iron claw um again like i said this movie was nothing short of amazing um now in this beginning part of the video like i said i want to talk about uh things that i particularly liked about the particularly liked about the video about the movie sorry um first off the casting was so so great uh zach efron jeremy allen white everybody does an amazing job um and the way they acted together was so believable. I, I don't know how to explain it, but they really, they really um, kind of embodied what it meant to be brothers and to love brotherhood. I mean, to love brothers, and um, you you kind of felt like you were part of the story because of how well they acted. Um, you felt their pain. You felt the tears. You felt, you know, the the stress. Um, so for me, that was one of the biggest standout things was was the acting and and the ensemble of uh, the cast ensemble that was put together to make this movie happen. Well, damn, it was it was good. Um, at the very beginning, I will say that I was not so impressed with Zac Efron's um, performance. Um, I was really just kind of taken away about how he was able to shape his body and not only just him, but Jeremy Allen White too. I mean, he, he like they they both kind of were the bulky uh, uh, the brothers. I think they played Kevin um, Kevin Von Erich and Carrie Von Erich, but then the other two um, brothers, you know, they were kind of like tall and um, Michael Von Erich was a little lanky. You know, David was a little bit buff, but but these two guys, Jeremy Allen White and Zac Efron, really took it to the next level, and you can you can just tell that they they really like dove right into this uh, role and um, tried to do their best of their ability. Now, something about Zac Efron that kind of re resonated in my head, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to this to what my first point where I wasn't really impressed with his acting at the very beginning of the movie. Um, he has come a damn long way from high school musical and and for for me he's he's kind of that robert pattinson kind of um actor right where they get kind of typecast from their earlier careers but um then when you see movies with them in it you just know that you're gonna get you know a, a, a great you know a, a great acting job and and that like they're they're kind of in that same um realm right and so to my point at, at the very beginning, I, I found myself not being impressed with his acting only because I was so distracted about how how much he like transformed his body. But then as a story, you know, kind of progressed, you, you kind of just become, um, you know, used to how he looks and all this stuff. But then you pay attention to his acting and damn, he does such a great job. I mean, when he cries, you want to you want to cry with him. Um, it, it's it's. I don't know how to 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 explain it other than just he did a fucking amazing job like really really great um another thing about the acting is I really feel like these guys these four four guys that played the Von Erich brothers I really feel in this movie that they spent a lot of time together and I think and I mean I mean obviously they they had to right but I really think they took it to the next level behind the scenes 
and just like did things as a family did things as as brothers and you know kind of like what do they call it um method acting um i think they really did it because from the times that they're eating at the table from the times that they're cheering from the times that they're dancing um when they cry together um you really get the sense that these are like real brothers i don't know if that makes sense um so the only way that i will put it is um i will compare it to that the feeling right not not exactly the same scenario but the feeling that you got when you saw heath ledger play the joker you didn't see heath ledger play the joker on screen you saw the joker right and same thing with this when i saw this movie when i was watching this movie i wasn't seeing four individual men playing characters who they are not i saw four men that are brothers on screen and it was amazing um yeah so those are the things that really really stood out to me i mean of course the cinematography was great um the the the, the music was was amazing uh, everything about this you know movie the the roller coaster ride of it was was you know was okay um, the only thing that I will say that I didn't really like was I think that they kind of cut out a lot of the story because it just really felt that like after and, and maybe it happened this way. I don't know. Like I, I, I used to watch wrestling as a kid. So you you would hear of Von Erichs, right? But I don't I, I don't remember seeing them wrestle um, it was a little bit probably before my time. But even at that, like, um, God, I don't know. Like <laughs> it's it's just amazing. Um, I don't know. I it, I just feel like they 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 the pacing of it, but between, um, I guess what do you call those like bad bad things that happen? The pacing of it just kind of um, was 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 fast to me. Uh, other than that, though, it it was great. Uh, I didn't it didn't like that that little thing did not affect me one bit in terms of how much i enjoyed this this film and it just it just felt like the pacing between the tragedies was just one right after another and it may it may have happened that way that's what was, that's what was, that's what i was trying to get at you know I, i've seen the von erics or i've heard of the von erics but i don't know in in what sequence did these tragedies happen right but that that that's probably the only bad thing i would say about this movie of everything everything else was 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 phenomenal and um, at this point, I'm going to get into the specifics. So if you don't want to hear the specifics as to what I'm, what I really loved about this movie, go away, like, subscribe, come back later and then finish the video. OK, now the specifics. There's there's this overarching uh, theme with this with this movie that uh, Zac Efron's character, Kevin Von Erich, um, states all the time that the, the Von Erich curse, the family curse, right? I don't I don't feel like the curse was something because he, he talks about like his grandma and things like that, taking the name and, and all that stuff. I don't think it was that. I think the curse of the family was the father. Um, the reason why I say that because is because right off the off the bat in the very beginning of the movie, everything is dictated by the father, by him. Um, and it's kind of a symbol, right? It's, it's um, the car at the very beginning is a symbol of what his role in the family is later on in life and um it just it just uh it just uh, permeates throughout the whole movie um the the curse is really the father if, if the father wasn't so hard or if the father was actually present for the for his children hell even the mother there's a there's an instance where kevin von eric uh zach Efron's character goes into um the mother's room it's, it's like hey dad's dad's a little hard on um michael or mike um you should probably talk to him and then the mother literally says exactly what the father says later and and uh that's kind of a a, a, a tie back um she says that's between you and your brother your you and your brothers or or uh that's between the um you know the father fits and and uh michael uh and and it, and it sucks because in this and i guess back in the day that's how it was I, I don't remember my parents being like that but um that's how that's just how it was and then that like it, it was kind of like foreshadowing what's to come just that one scene right and then at the end uh, 
the very the, the the saddest part of it is when Carrie took his life um, played by Jer Jeremy Allen White and and the reason why it was so sad was because he was basically uh, calling for help literally he called Kevin and was like hey um, I need family I need I need you know help um, I'm in pain you know and and Kevin was trying to be there for him so he called his dad I guess somebody that was close nearby and his dad was like that's between you and your brother right even to the point where Carrie killed himself the father is like walking to the body and he tells and, and Zach Efron you know tackles him and he's like I told you you know he needed help or he whatever and he's like he called you he didn't call me or whatever that that to me was the curse like all of that everything about this film was was going back to the father and that just shows you that people people's like i guess i mean <laughs> i don't know how to explain it like their their um actions have heavy weights right um because all of this stuff that happened between you know the brothers uh they they didn't really uh i i feel like they didn't really get a chance to live uh that if the father basically was living through them vicariously because he wanted the championship belt in the family so bad that you know kevin basically like took up the mantle and, and changed his body the way he did michael didn't even want to do wrestling because he wanted it seemed like he wanted to do more of like the artsy stuff with music and, and things like that right and then you had um the olympian you know whatever uh in carry and he comes back and, and and you know first thing that the father says is you need to think about your your life your career and i want to see you wrestling he's like oh yes and then michael's being pressured by the dad david david gets thrown into the fire but and he ruptures his intestine by going too hard by trying to get that belt so like all of this stuff right it, it's it, it 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 goes back to the father and it fucking sucks it fucking sucks because it, in this world today there's people like this and and um that's what i mean that you don't need to necessarily uh know who the von erics are you just need to know that this is based on a true story and um like it, it happened and and these things happened and it's it's wonderful that a24 put this kind of scenario on screen i'm damn happy that they actually showed this um not so much the von eric family story the tragedy but just just this overarching theme because it's it's some of this stuff is not really talked about a lot and and i think it needs to be you know shine in in, in in a bigger light um the pressures of living up to a standard the you know the pressures of living up to somebody else's standards you know that that kind of stuff it it, it really takes effect on your mental and we see that at the end when zach efron's character and this is and i'm telling you people were crying in the theaters at this point um he's sitting down on the grass and he's crying his sons come up to him and they're like what's wrong dad and he's like He's like, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to see me this way. Men aren't supposed to cry. And it's right there immediately. I was just like, damn, like even even after, you know, so many years have passed because his boys are a little bit older. He is still being affected by the curse. Right. That is his dad, um, because when when um, David died, he literally tells the kids while they're mourning on the porch, stop crying men don't cry now who's gonna go get that belt <laughs> right and zach efron replies to his kids when he's crying um at, at one point i was a brother you know and and that's all they ever wanted it seemed like in this movie now i don't know how true this movie is i don't know how how much influence kevin von eric was in was into this movie because he's the only one alive um but uh, it, it it seemed like this movie really could stand on its own, be its own thing, uh, and and because and it's because of the story that they told, uh, and it was just I don't know, lack of a better word, amazing. And I know this is a little bit of a longer review, but this movie deserves it. And 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 like I said in the you know earlier, I really want everybody to go see this. I know this weekend we have <laughs> quite a bit of movies coming out. I just did anyone but you. 
uh, I um, you know this is the Iron Claw and then we have Aquaman so uh, <laughs> but yeah guys I, I don't know what else to say about this movie there's a there's a ton of things that I can say I don't know what else to say but there's a ton right it's just it's just you know whatever but this movie go see it go see it. it it's sad it is it is so sad it, and and i want to say one more thing there's a show uh, on vice i think it's called uh beyond the ring or something like that it it basically takes uh real life stories told by people that were actually in the business of wrestling and and kind of oh, the dark side of the ring i think that's what it's called um and and they tell they tell those stories and there's one story about the von erics and i believe kevin's on there and it, there's things in in that kind of like um documentary tv series show whatever uh that that weren't necessarily showed on on this screen but that's why i say like i don't know how true this is i don't know how involved kevin was but in that one it's on vice go check it out it's pretty interesting if you want to know more about the von eric story that's where you can find it and it has kevin in there um i believe so it's it's just sad and, and i i hope this is a genre that that gets told more and i will again i know i said one more thing um but this is another one more thing last thing i believe it was rick flair that recently said they asked him how did he feel about the von eric movie uh, coming out and uh i believe it was rick flair that said that he was not happy about it only because and this is the only reason why it wasn't because he wasn't happy with the movie coming out he was not happy because he felt that it was a little too late that the story was told too late because people weren't gonna know who the von erics were or how important they were to you know wrestling um uh, you know growing up or, or coming up right and um you know i i think he probably made that remark uh a little prematurely because this movie again seems like it can stand alone uh there's plenty to learn from this movie um yeah man the iron claw go see it it is worth the two hours and 10 minute watch seriously go see it all right guys i'm gonna do aquaman next so stay tuned for that everybody have a great rest of your day and uh spread that love all right Later, you guys. Have a good one.